Have you seen this picture of the Pope wearing a stylish puffy jacket? Well, it went viral last year, but not because the Pope was looking super cool. It's because the photo was generated using AI. We call them deepfakes. And it's not the only content out there that's generated using AI. Some people make deepfakes for fun. I mean, who doesn't want to see Tom Cruise doing magic tricks? I'm going to show you some magic. That's not Tom Cruise. It's the real thing. <laughs> but other people create deepfakes to spread misinformation. <laughs> That's not the Ukrainian president calling for his citizens to surrender. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. And that's a fake Obama. Although what he's saying here is true. These are deep fakes, phony videos of real people generated by artificial intelligence software. Now the question is, can you recognize a deep fake? Try this one on for size. This is a PSA. You can't believe anything you see these days. These glasses aren't even real. Neither is my face. What we found was people are in this like, whatever, two thirds correct kind of range. The next question is, can AI help people recognize deep fakes? Turns out AI is sort of decent at recognizing deep fakes on its own, but each of us has our weaknesses. For people, when we're emotional, we can't recognize deep fakes as well. AI on the other hand has problems detecting deep fakes when the context is important like in videos of political figures. AI also does a better job than people at recognizing videos when the content is inverted or misaligned or something's wrong with it. Our brains just don't work as well when our visuals aren't clear. The good news is people can sort of detect deepfakes when they're looking. The bad news is we're not looking very often. And deepfakes are only going to get harder to recognize as the technology gets better and better. So I guess the moral of the story is keep questioning what you see out there, whether it's actually looking for deep fakes in particular or checking your sources for news or just thinking critically about what you're watching. We can all help prevent the spread of misinformation. Make sure to check out the paper, How Can Humans and AI Work Together to Detect Deep Fakes for more information.